Pisces viewers. Hello. So today I'm going to be looking into what your person is thinking, feeling, and what they're wanting out of this relationship. What and more importantly, what action they're going to be taking towards you over the next, um, let's say, a week or two. All right, so for, let me sage these really quick. And again, this could be a current partner, it could be an ex, it could be someone new coming in. It's just however, the, however it ends up coming out, however I end up channeling. All right, so for my Pisces viewers that are watching this, put the intention into channeling your situation. Please show me what the person is thinking and feeling. What's going on with that? Like, what's going on with the connection, with their emotions? Okay. Ten of Cups. That's a good card. Knight of Wands. Well, I guess I should take that reversed. Okay. Six of Wands reversed. Three of Pentacles. Three of Swords. All right. Interesting. Nine of Pentacles and the Wheel reversed. Okay. <laughs> it's an interesting read so far, for sure. Okay, so um, right off the bat, this is talking about um, a toxic, possibly abusive karmic situation that needs to be let go of. This could be a past or a current relationship, I feel. I do feel some past energy here. Um, so with the Ten of Cups, it's like when things are good, they're really good. And you guys are trying to make it work. And it's, you know, you're all on board. But then it's like this, like, arguments. And it's really interesting because I keep getting these... I've gotten a couple of these readings so far from my zodiac sign, so there's like there's actually this collective energy right now of letting go of the the you know toxic abusive relationships. There's there's a lot of truth being revealed right now collectively for people, so the masks are coming off and people are seeing what's in front of them, and sometimes it's not so pretty. So um, for you know for you Pisces, it's like when things are good, they're good, and you feel like oh this is my person, this is we're, we're like everything's stable, everything's good, but you know deep down it's not. Um, with the Knight of Wands, it's like impulsive decision making, like toxic arguments, um, just toxic energy. It's like it's fire energy, but not in a good way. It it's, could be a fire sign you're dealing with, but it's it's like this fiery energy, but it's not like a it's not a it's not a good fire. It's not the kind of fire you want. It's more like just impulsive, um, like cheating or like impulsive decision making or impulsive arguments or just like this back and forth crazy energy where it's like you guys seem to be okay and you're just it, it's, you're not you're not okay and you know that um with the six of wands reversed so it's almost like you're you want public recognition you want recognition for all the good things that you're doing in this relationship and you're not really getting that recognition you're not really being appreciated and I really feel like with the Six of Wands reverse too, that you have like a career or like hobbies and passions that you want to focus on. And this person is not, this person or situation, this energy is not allowing you to focus on them. They're um, kind of turning your world upside down here. It's like you, you want to be successful and stable and you want these, you have these goals when it comes to career and to, to um, you know, your hobbies and finances and all these things, but it's like this person just holds you back and they just make you feel insecure and they make you feel like you're never good enough. And so it's almost like you're being like locked behind closed doors. It's like you can't get out there and shine. They're not letting you shine. They're, they're, could be someone who's jealous and insecure, um, could be jealous of you. Or they're just, they're just like holding you. It's like someone who's very like, controlling like they're just they're holding you back from like shining and being yourself and it's like with the three of pentacles it's like you have all this hope it's like you want to build with them like you want like a stable foundation with them and you also want a more stable foundation for yourself you want um it's it's like you're it's like this person is like dreaming like they're seeing the light it's like just this little light that's coming in through the window that they're looking at here um, and they're kind of creating it and manifesting it, but it's like this person blows that light out. As soon as you you, you turn the light on, they turn it out. Um, 
and with the three of pentacles it's kind of like like i feel like it's creativity like you're you have these like things that you want to do these things that you're passionate about and it's like they kind of they kind of creep up out of the woodworks almost. It's almost like this person, I feel like this person might be definitely be abusive. They're very controlling. Might be kind of the person that goes through your phone, you know, and doesn't let you have male or female friends, that kind of inner controlling energy right there. It's not a good energy. And it's kind of like you, you start thinking about, you know, your passions and your hobbies and like these beautiful things that you want to do with like career, um, just, just all, just anything of that nature. Um, but it's like you don't, like you're being suppressed you're being this person is like holding you down and like making you numb so it's like that passion like the old parts of yourself that you lost like that passion that innocence that that emotion it comes up and then this person just numbs it and with the three of swords it's like it's constant heartbreak it's constant back and forth a constant like let's make this work and cons and then arguments and like oh shit this actually can't work this isn't happening um then we have the nine of pentacles and the wheel reversed With the wheel being reversed, I almost feel like it's saying once you get off this merry-go-round, you're going to have the abundance and su success that you want. You're going to have the the passion come back. You're going to have this this good, fiery energy come back to you. You're going to have the career and the hobbies and the success again that you want. You're going to be yourself again, finally. Um, but you have to get off this this merry-go-round with the wheel here. And with the wheel, it's like it's like karma and like cycles, like going around in cycles. And with the wheel being reversed, in this case, I kind of feel like it means like, this is like a karmic partner that just dug their claws in and will not let go. So it's like this person is not really for you anymore, but it's like they're not letting you go. And you're kind of like lonely and it's familiar. And so you're like, all right, I guess, yeah, we, we put a lot of energy into this. Let's keep doing it. You know what I mean? Like it's like, oh, it's interesting energy for sure. <laughs> I'll say that. Let me see what else I can get on this. Okay, so I guess I'll word the question for this read. I'll word the question a bit differently. Um, so what happens for you once you, because this person is bad for you for sure, and, and I think you know that. I think you know it's not going anywhere. Um, I guess I'll ask really quick, like, what is, let me see. What's the most likely action that your person is going to take towards you? Like this, like this relationship, like where is it going? What's the, what's, what's the action over the next like week or so? Week or, let's say like one to two weeks. Within the next couple weeks. Like what's, what action is going to be taken with this person? have high priestess of water so you need to heal and purge and cleanse from this and you need to realize this was just a cycle this was not something that you should have hung on to this was this was a, a learning experience for you and it's it's not your person you know if this is and you know if this is your story or not again this is not going to resonate for anyone for everyone but if this person is hitting you if this person is verbally abusive with you if this person is constantly arguing with you constantly nitpicking constantly putting you down constantly blaming you you know it's like a sociopathic narcissistic kind of energy where it's like you're always to blame you're always they're always like just putting so much on your plate they're always overwhelming you and overloading you so much um and controlling you there's a very strong sense of control where it's like they do not let you out of their sight um they do not want to let you out of their sight and it's kind of it's, it's a little scary um so with cycles, it's like, realize that this was a cycle. Realize that this was not something, this is like a karmic situation that's like, they're they're just not letting go. But there's there's more for you out there. This is not what you want for the rest of your life, is it? You know, you've got to consider that. you got into, you got to get into this high priestess of water energy where you're you're cleansing and you're purging and you're healing from this and not going in the, in the cycle, in that cycle. And then um, once you let, once you get through this cycle and you let that go and you move on from it, you're, you're going to have reminders of who you are, the person that you left behind, the person that you lost because of this situation. And you're going to understand why, why things, why everything happened the way it happened. Like we're, you're, you're going to understand all of it and you're going to be in this energy of letting go and new things are going to be coming to you. And I want to take a look at, um, so interesting because I get I, there's this is like a collective energy it's not just you guys a lot of us a lot of people collectively not not me actually 
I'm not actually in that energy, but I've noticed the collective is right now where it's, it's just this energy of, um, of yeah, letting go of the, the old karmic cycles. Okay, so once you, what do you need to know about your life after you let go of this person, this energy that just, it's not, it's not, if you're wondering if they're going to change, if they're really toxic, they're abusive, they're verbally abusive, sociopathic, and you're wondering if they're going to change, the answer is no, they're not. <laughs> That's what your guys are saying. It's like, nope, it's not. It's it's not changing. Okay, so what do you need to know about the energy after this? It's a lot of cards. Okay, I guess we'll see what happens. <laughs> Three of Pentacles. Okay, so that's good. So you have that creativity coming back, but you've got it with the Nine of Wands. Um, this is saying, you know. <sighs> It's resilience and it's this this strength and it's it's you know you have success in the end like you're almost there with your success, um, but there are some obstacles still to get through. But I think that it's saying you know once you get away from this person and it's eleven eleven so it's it's a good reading I feel it it really is good in the long run with the three of pentacles here. It's like you get to create what you haven't been able to create because they've been holding you back. The, the life and the career you want, the love that you want to manifest, the um, the hobbies, the passion, all the things that you left behind for this toxic relationship. It's like you're going to get those things back. You're going to get yourself back. You're going to go through this healing purging process. Um, and you're just going to be letting go and letting things flow and reclaiming yourself and remembering who you are. And you're going to make sure that you set boundaries next time around and you don't, you don't allow that kind of energy into your life again. And it's saying, you know, there, there is, it's, it's going to be a process. It's an emotional process when you get out of this kind of relationship. It, it takes time and effort and energy. Um, and, and it's, it's again, it's, it's allowing yourself vulnerability and healing and really doing the deep um, purging and cleansing work and road opening and everything and, and really, you know, taking what you learn from that experience and, and applying it to, to new relationships where you just, you don't allow that kind of abuse and toxicity ever again in your relationships. Um, but finding a balance to, you know, don't be too hard on people, but also don't let them get away with too much. Um, and with the nine of wands, it's like, yeah, you're, you're in that passion. You're going to have success. You're, you're, you're going to be able to, to pursue your creative pursuits once you get out of this toxic energy and this toxic relationship and you have the page of cups. So you do have new love coming in after that too. Um, but you do have someone, cause I feel like you're going to learn so much from this that you're going to be more stable and grounded and you're not going to allow that kind of energy into your life again. And you're gonna, you're very intuitive, and I feel like you, I feel like maybe this person doesn't like psychic work, or they don't like, they don't believe in this stuff, or something like that. So once you get out of this, it's like you're gonna be able to explore that side of yourself and explore the things that you haven't been able to explore with them. And then after, you know, after this period of, of rest and healing and, and finding and reclaiming yourself, you're naturally a very confident person, but this person has taken your confidence away. So once you get out of that energy, um, yes, you're going to be pursuing hobbies and finding yourself and reclaiming yourself and going through this whole healing purging process. And you do have new love coming in with the page of cups and you have the sun where you're going to be looking forward. You're going to have this, this, um, new energy coming in and with the devil here it's kind of like a warning like don't sabotage something um good because of what you've been through don't let this experience like make you bitter and make you cynical towards the right people but at the same time it's just like a strong need to find balance it's um it's just it's just this warning to find balance it's like don't let people walk all over you because again you do have this natural confidence that you have to tap back into you have to reclaim the innocence and the confidence and the power in this this beautiful energy that you have that you kind of let be numbed and controlled and suppressed by this person so it's reclaiming and refining yourself but it's also saying you know don't get caught up in toxic this could be drugs alcohol this could be abusive relationships again be aware of the devil energy that um that lusty seductive kind of energy it's saying to find just to find a balance like make sure you listen to the green flags and the red flags next time around make sure that you um balance your head and your heart make sure that you um you just have this like logic emotional intuitive balance you know all three in this like this this triangle kind of um and four 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 so angelic guidance you know you're protected you're safe you will be safe um and yeah, with the with the devil energy, just just watch, just just make sure you find a balance because I do see this this potential for you to just 
hate men or hate women for for a while or just be done with all of it for a while and just kind of harden your heart and and so it's it's or you know to go the opposite way and just be really self-destructive or um you know letting yourself get into one of these situations again so it's just it's just kind of a caution there to to make sure that you find um, a good healthy balance in your relationships and you listen to both the green flags and the red flags and you put yourself first and then you have a king of wands coming in um, and you have someone who's passionate who's emotional who's um you know successful who's who's recognized in the public this person might be helping you kind of be recognized in the public too because i feel like you do something with the with the public or you want to it's like you're, you're something you're someone that people look up to you um in, in most cases you are you're someone that people look up to and and so there's this this passionate person coming into your life um and then we have the wheel upright that's pretty cool so it's like it's like that cycle it's like a new cycle it's like a rebirth it's it's a new that other old cycle is ending and this new cycle is um beginning and you're, you're going to be making judgment calls when you date when you get back out there and you date you're going to be more mindful of the kind of people you're dating you're going to be mindful of the red flags and the green flags you're going to be mindful of breaking subconscious patterns that you might have towards abusive people if you do have those patterns i do feel like a natural confidence with a lot of you though so that's really good that you guys do have that natural confidence that will getting back in tune to that that stable kind of core like getting back in tune to your your core at your soul level that that core confidence that you have that core passion and energy that you have will do you really well just you know balance it of course be logical be intuitive make good judgment calls um and then you're going to be in this period of the hangman where you're you're letting go you're letting go of the old energy you're um you're seeing things from a new perspective it is it's just this beautiful perspective shift. so let me see really quick so what do you need to know about this new person and again i do see you going through a phase i do see this being a process but let's see what do you need to know about this new person that's coming in what do you need to know about this new person so pisces what should we be telling you about this person that's coming in um Surrender your belief in scarcity. So the universe is asking you to open to the infinite nature of abundance. In this way, you can remove blocks in your life and succeed beyond your wildest dreams. So this is saying, you know, you do have blocks there. You probably do have blocks from this relationship. You should do soul retrieval. You should do a soul retrieval with a certified, with a, with a real shaman, or at least figure out how to do soul retrieval on your own after this. Once you're out of that energy, you do want to do cut and clear work. You do want to do uncrossing and healing and cleansing work. Um, you do want to remove any blocks that you might have to love after this. You really want to work on those. Maybe listen to binarial beats too. That really does help. Um, and, and just work on yourself and work on reclaiming yourself. I feel like you already, I feel like before this partnership, you really knew who you were and what you wanted. And so, you know, for some people, they're so insecure that it's like they go through an abusive relationship and they lose themselves in it because it's like they didn't have a strong foundation to begin with. And I do feel like you've lost yourself in this relationship, but I feel like I feel like you're going to have an easier time than most to reclaim yourself because you were such a strong, independent, um, passionate person before this relationship. So you do have that core still in you to get back to. You know what I mean? Some people don't have that and they have to find it. But you've already got it, so I think you're going to be okay. Um, and surrender your belief in scarcity. So again... Um, you know, make sure that you make sure be mindful of your subconscious and your subconscious beliefs and patterns and really make them what you want them to be. Surrender to play. Take a break from overthinking a goal. Do something fun. Play is a time of recreation and rejuvenation. So again, reclaiming that innocence, reclaiming your free spirit. I feel like this person holds you back so much. And so it's like when you get out of this energy, you're going to be able to be your free spirited self again. You're going to be able to go out there and um and just do what you want to do again you know what i mean like you're gonna be you again you're gonna be you you're gonna be free-spirited you're not gonna have someone telling you like oh you can't do this you can't do that you're, you're gonna be playful and loving and happy again um and again balance when you're because you do have some inner work to do but again it's saying kind of play and balance don't take it too seriously like healing is messy and it's raw and it's dark sometimes but it shouldn't 
it shouldn't feel stagnant. It shouldn't feel like you're like, for, like forced positive thinking is not healing. Forcing positive thinking is not healing at all, at least in my opinion. Um, I guess maybe it works for some people. It doesn't work for me. It doesn't work for most people I know. Um, so, you know, healing can be raw and dark and messy. And there is a crying process and you have to let it out. You have to let yourself cry. You have to let yourself feel whatever it is that you feel. Let yourself be emotional. Let that raw emotion just flow through you. Um, and so don't get caught up thinking that healing is like a chore and that you have to think positive and you have to do this and this and this because then that's that's more controlled energy. You don't you don't want the controlled energy. You want to let go. You want the hangman energy. You want to let things flow. You want that emotional flow. You want to get back in touch with like this syn synchronicity and the just this this universal flow where things just come to you and it all just feels natural. If it's not feeling natural to you, you got to step back and think about that. Tune into the energy and see how it feels. So so it's a reminder on your healing process, no forced positive thinking, no, no covering up the healing you need to do with a love and light and positive vibes only band-aid. That's not going to work. Um, it's be true to who you are. Be true to what you feel. Let your feelings flow. Let yourself go through this process. You might go through a dark night of the soul, but it'll be okay in the end. It's, it's necessary sometimes for us to go through those. Um, and it's just saying, you know, surrender to play, like just be playful, be fun, be, be, um, who you really are on a soul level, do what resonates for you on a soul level, do what feels good for you. Um, you know, don't get too serious about your healing. Like you do need to heal. Yes. But it's, it's like, it should, it shouldn't feel stagnant. It shouldn't, healing should not feel stagnant. Healing should feel to me, in my opinion, it should feel emotional. It should feel like you're getting somewhere. There should be forward movement. There should be a purging process. If you're just like trying to put a bandaid on everything and you're trying to force positive thinking, then you're not actually really healing. You're just suppressing the issues. You're suppressing everything that you're going through and what you've been through. And um, it's going to come out later in uglier ways. So you really, there's a warning here to make sure that doesn't happen. Tune into your body and your intuition and make sure that you don't feel stagnant on this healing process. Make sure it feels like things are actually flowing and do what you need to do to get back into that flow and surrender to trust. Trust yourself and your decisions. Don't be swayed by other people's strong opinions about what you do, what to do. Take action and be confident that you have chosen the right path. So if this is someone that your family loved but you didn't love, ignore them. This is this is your life. This is your destiny. It's up to you. Um, to communicate with your guys. Talk to them. Let them help you through this process. Um, surrender to joy. A key to positive change in your life is to let joy in and savor it. Indulge in random acts of smiling. During both the hard and easy times, keep surrendering, keep, keep surrendering to more joy. Surrender to the wisdom of your body, which is what I was just saying. Surrender, um, listen to your body's messages about a person or situation. So again, you want to make sure that you take the lessons from this situation you've been in so that next time around when you're on a date with somebody, you can really tune in and... Um, you know, feel whether this is the right person for you. Feel if they're, are they resonating with you? Are they, are you, do you have subconscious patterns with abusive people that you need to break? Um, you know, like just listen to your body's messages about a person or situation. If you feel physically drained or uncomfortable around somebody, be cautious. If you feel energized and happy, move forward. You know, listen to the, both the green flags and the red flags. Be really mindful of that, of your interactions with people. Um, don't, you know, so many times with like abusive, toxic people, it's like, you'll feel like someone's being condescending or they're talking, like they're talking down to you or they're saying something offensive or they're, there's signs of abuse. Like someone might make an offhand comment like, oh, I, I'd, I'd, I'd hit a woman if I had to, you know what I mean? Like I like that kind of crap. Where it's like something doesn't feel right to you, but it's like, you don't want to be dramatic. You don't want to say anything. So it's like, no, say something when you need to, like when you can be safe, make sure you're safe. But it's like, be, don't just ignore it. Don't ignore what you feel. Don't ignore your intuition. Don't ignore who you are for this person any longer. Um, really be mindful of that. Really, really be mindful of that. And let me see, cause I'd like to get some personality. Let's see personality traits of this. And again, like I said, you're going to be going through a process. So let's see. So once, once this new person, because again, you have a strong foundation that's still there. You just have to clear your head and your heart and, and do this healing and get back in touch with that person that you are deep down. 
Um, it's still there, though. You know what I mean? You don't want to give this person any more of your precious time and energy, but it, it is still there. Um, let's see. So what is your person? Who is this one? <laughs> it got complicated reverse. So this person is not complicated. This new person is not going to have all this, this bullshit going on. Um, so, okay, so the new person that's going to eventually be coming in sooner or later. <clears throat> what can you tell me about them? Can you tell me about their personality, please? Tell me about their personality. It's a lot of cards, but we'll take it. We'll take it. Why not? That's a strength card. Okay. I feel like almost like it's like seeing it reverse. It's almost like when you're weak, this person is going to be your rock. This person is going to be, they have the strength. Like they're going to be, they're going to be there for you. I feel high priestess of air. Okay. That's interesting. So you could be dealing with an air sign. Um, what else can we get? So yeah, it could be an air sign. It could also be, air is also about communication. So this could be someone who's very strong in how they communicate. They, they communicate their feelings. Um, we have the moon. So I feel like this is someone who's intuitive and spiritual. I, have, um, I feel like, I feel like choice is being reversed. It's kind of saying like this person is sure of you. Like this person will be more sure of you than this other person was. They're not going to be cheating on you and be like inconsistent. You know what I mean? Because it's like choices here. I always take it as like someone's like choosing between two paths, two situations, two people. And this person is like up, upside down. It's like, oh, they made that choice. Like they know already. They know already. Um, I feel like, yeah, your self-worth was kind of messed up. But I feel like this person is, I feel like they're, like you're, you're going to feel worthy with them. And you're going to feel good. Like, inside and out, like your body, your mind, your heart, your soul, you're going to feel good around them. You're going to feel like you can be yourself, like you can be fun and free spirited and you can say and do what you want and you're going to be understood and heard and loved. Like you're going to be more free to yourself and it's not going to be so chaotic as unstable as this other relationship and they're going to be listening to you. They're really going to listen to you when you talk. They're going to be empathetic and heartfelt. Um, you know, other people didn't really see the beauty in you, but this person is going to see your beauty. They're going to see, like, the spunkiness and the weirdness and the eccentricities and the, the free-spiritedness and, and just all this energy that you have. They're going to see it as beautiful. They're going to see it as, as different and you, unique. You know, all these things that you had to, to suppress for this other person, you're not going to have to suppress for them. You're going to be able to just be your true self around them. And I feel like you're going to be developing so much confidence after getting out of this toxic um, karmic situation that you're in that you're going to be so confident that you're going to draw this into you. And you're going to just, um, you're just going to know, like you just, you're going to know who you are and who you want and what you want in a relationship like you've never known before. Like you're going to, I mean, yes, it's going to be messy. There's going to be crying. There's going to be purging. There's, it's a process, but you're going to be happy. You're going to feel a sense of freedom. Um, and so it is really good energy. And, and it's, it's interesting just the collective is going through this right now where we're kind of letting go of any of the things that are holding us back. And for many people, that seems to be abusive relationships right now. So anyway, if this resonated, please um, like, share, subscribe, reach out. Thank you.